Okay, hello, welcome back. It's been a while since I've done just a quick, fun little playthrough of, uh, of the game instead of doing some philosophical or fun thing. And I thought I'd do that now. So this is... People keep walking into the frame shot. Let, hold on, let's get up onto the roof and start over. Okay. Hello and welcome. So it's been a while. And just going to do a fun little playthrough. Um, this is, uh, we're going to call this part one of the uh, uh, Idiot's Chronicles, or the Chronicles of Idiot. One of the two. I'll go with Idiot's Chronicles, sounds better. And you may notice I'm playing as Jacob. That is not to say I think Jacob is an idiot. No. It's to do with this particular mission that it's called the Idiot's Chronicles. Not, nothing to do with Jacob. You know, while he may have made some bad decisions in the game... I don't think he's an idiot. At least not by the end of the game. Regardless. <clears throat> and also, I, I had a bit of a time choosing the outfit. Let me just jump a, into this and show you my problem with the outfits. So, I consider briefly doing the creature's rags as an outfit. Then I realized that people who had actually read the novel as opposed to seeing any of the movies would have said, Wait a second, the creature's not an idiot. He's actually quite intelligent and articulate in the novels. You're just perpetuating a myth. And I said, ah, oh, I can't do that. So I considered Huntsman's outfit, and then they say, wait a second, this is not without a clue. He's only an idiot in without a clue. Otherwise, he's really, really smart. Then I thought, well, we could try Ezio, because I think Ezio looks just really strange in Victorian London. And they'd say, wait, are you saying Ezio is an idiot? So I just basically went with uh, the Maxim Dracul outfit, you know, just regular standard outfit. So anyway, let me uh, head back down and we'll go check out this mission. That's just a fun bonus mission. So I had to do a hard reset on my uh, system a while ago. And that meant I had to start the game entirely over and play through, which was a blast. But I've avoided doing this particular mission because it's just... Just, you know, you, I, I just feel like thumping myself in the head every time I play this mission because of... Basically, I'm dealing with a complete and total idiot. Also, this is part of the Darwin and, and Dickens conspiracy, and I think the only conspiracy is, why am I helping the... why am I helping this idiot? Ah, my dear Darwin, do you think our young friend here, equipped with a multiplicity of talents, might be enough to ensure Mr. Hammond safe passage? Who's Hammond when he's at home, then? A mutual friend of ours. He arrives in London today. From South Africa, no less. Mr. Hammond is possessed of both tremendous wealth and charming innocence. Which makes him rather attractive prey for some of our great city's less savory inhabitants. We fear he'll need a more robust escort than two old men might provide. I'm not a coachman, you know. We have already told him to expect you. His train should have arrived ten minutes ago. So already, already, I'm being shoehorned into helping this friend. This idiot. All right. Off I go to help this guy. Let's see. So, gonna have to grab a carriage. Or I can just run it. It's, it's not that far. I think I'll just run it. It's just, it's right here, really. Uh. But yeah, this is one of those really odd missions where you get in and play it, and then you're like, why? Just why? This lead up? This leads up. Okay. You know, it, it's one of those where you, you, you feel like you should have more free will in the mission to just say, no, not a good idea, or say, are you serious? You know, you should have those, you know... Wow, that guy has incredible balance. Just check that out. Great, great, great balance here. He, he must be incredible. Anyway, I'm, I'm supposed to be finding uh, my target. Alright, here is the person I shall designate as the idiot. Mr. John Hammond? That is correct. Jacob Fry, Mr. Dickens sent me to meet you. Oh, good old Dickens. How very kind of him. Lead on, then. Alright, so... Head in this way. Calmly walk. Can't say I've missed the weather. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, weather. You know, it's bright and sunny in today. Uh huh. You don't sound too keen on the idea. I have never even met my future bride, Bella Wilton. It was all arranged for me. She may be a good woman, or she may not. I stand to inherit a vast sum. Can I be certain that the lady is not simply in it for the money? Now, fairness, that's that's a fair question to ask. Okay, so he's, he's no longer talking at me. So, yes, it is a fair question to ask. It's how you handle the question that might lead to problems. Come on, come on, come on. He's coming, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And so, I believe that carriage is our carriage somehow. And... And we're being attacked already. Okay, so let's see. Now I'm supposed to talk to him, and let's see. We will pick. Wait, is I'm supposed to keep defending him? Okay, so now I have to pick this guy up. I am now officially dead and have thus shed my fortune. I shall meet Bella Wilton as a nobody. We shall see if she'll have me now. Now this is the part where I say, why don't you meet her first before you fake your death? I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, this is one of the reasons why I think this guy's an idiot. He should meet the woman before faking his death. All right, let's... Good work. How exciting. This is like something out of a novel. See, this... Okay, I'm... I, I honestly have to ask, how did this guy survive so long in South Africa, having no brain? Uh, also, I, I'm having a little trouble figuring out how to drive normally. So, I recently got the, um... Uh, what is it called? The trophy for... Uh, destroying 5,000, uh, destructibles with a carriage, and... Now, I can't remember how to drive normally without destroying half the street, so... <laughs> So, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to f remember how to do that. Drive safely, don't attract attention, be nice. Okay, see, that guy just pulled right in front of me. He, he really should have checked his rear view mirror. He, he should have known I was passing. Maybe it's just not worth it to drive safely and I should drive like a maniac like I always do. Uh, ah, see, see, nobody checks. Admittedly, I shouldn't be passing on the left, but still, nobody ever checks. Ugh. Okay, so I need to get over to this point. Wait. All right, right to that point right here. I'm gonna. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna have to dump this guy in the river. I think is it right here? Yeah. Oh, is it? it oh, nope. Up, up ahead a little bit. Ah, traffic is so congested when you don't drive like a maniac. Okay, wait. Let's stop. Get out. I'm going to carry the dead body. Yeah. Alright, let's... I can't see myself. Where'd I go? Oh, I hid. Care. Oh, okay. Sorry, I hit hide instead of carry, so I was wondering what happened to myself. So I think all I have to do is chuck him in into the water. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> I may have chucked him onto a boat. <laughs> oh, this game. Okay, wait. That's Sabotage Contraband. Oh, wait, wait. What's he doing here? Okay, wait. Need to carry this guy, chuck him into the water, and get back to my target before I desynchronize. <laughs> wow, I've I've done such a good job with this. 
I may have to go swimming. <laughs> oh, that has... Oh, my gosh. The things I'm going through for this idiot, I'm, I'm just saying I should be able to, you know, say, no, this is a really stupid idea. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. I, all right. I'm, I'm close to my target. I'm, I'm doing good. I think I'm close to my target. Where is my target? Oh, there he is. Um, would you like to get in? There we go. Okay. Oh, man. Huh. I feel quite liberated. As if a great weight has been lifted from my shoulders. Yes, it was worth faking your death just for that. Would you take me to my Have you ever considered how this might affect your uh, inheritance? I'm, I'm just saying. Excuse me. Thank you, Jacob. Besides, I need to ascertain whether I like her as well. Meet her and then ascertain it, you... Ugh. I'm, I'm sorry, this... Come on, hurry up! This is taking far too long! You know, you'd think that Jacob would be... I'm sure of it! No, no, I've just reached the right spot. I'm very anxious to meet Miss Wilson. We're there. Okay. I will follow you, sir. Or are you following me? Okay. Reach Bella. Where is Bella? Ah, there she is. Okay. See, it's like... See, you, you should have some autonomy to say, this is a really stupid idea, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> okay. Let's see, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Right here. Here we are. I've reached you. Miss Wilson? Yes? My name is John Rokesmith. I'm afraid I have some terrible news for you. John made up name. Your fiancé, John Hammond, was found dead in the River Thames this morning. You know, I don't know why he couldn't just say that to her. Why did we have to dispose of a body? I am at a loss at what to say to you, sir. You must forgive me. She is delightful. Why, I do believe I love her. Oh my gosh, you are such an idiot. Certainly an unusual first meeting to talk about in your wedding speech. Wait, did I just reveal to her that her husband was actually, her future husband was actually still alive? Okay, so, that was the first part of, you know, the Idiot Chronicles. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this, let me know what you think, and let me know if you think we should have had more options to say, you're being an idiot, let's do something different. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.